Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of inequalities and equations and specifically how we can write word problems for them and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple equation here. 14 and 8 tenths is equal to 3 and 3 tenths times x. We don't know what the x represents. It could be any letter. But what we need to do is we need to write a problem to match this situation. So we need to know that our operation here that is joined between our 3.3 and our x, it's hidden. And so whenever you see a number next to a variable or an unknown, usually represented by a letter, then we're always going to be thinking of multiplication. And so when we're thinking of multiplication, probably the easiest way to think about it would be a rate. So we're doing something and the total, so our total is going to be over here because it's all by itself is 14.8. And we're going to do something at 3.3 per whatever this x is going to equal. So we can write something similar to that. We can say, let's see, 3.3, that's about a good walking rate. So we will say, Susan walks at a rate, because rates are used in multiplication, of we'll say 3.3 mph. And so our x then is going to be our hours. So she's going to walk at 3.3 miles per hour. How many hours is it going to take to get her to our total that's going to be our miles? So how long will it take? And we'll just finish this out to walk. The other side of the equation is going to be our total here. So our total is 14.8. And let's make sure we have our unit 14.8 miles. So when you see a simple equation like this, 14.8 equals 3.3x, think of creating a rate problem. So here's another equation here. 15 plus y equals 37. This is going to be fairly simple. A lot of times when we're adding two things, we're going to be thinking of money. So let's make a problem that has to do with money. So let's say Tim bought what would cost $15. We'll say a shirt and some pants. And we'll say the total. So this is going to be our total over here. That's going to be $37. And we know one thing. So we'll say the shirt cost, and this is going to be our known quantity over here, so we'll make that our shirt, $15. And then our question is going to be how much, what's our unknown right there, those are going to be our pants. How much did the pants cost? So whenever we're dealing with adding or subtracting, very simple with a known number and an unknown and a total, probably we're going to be looking at making a problem that has to do with buying something. We have one final problem to write. This time it is for an inequality because we have a greater than or equal to sign rather than simply an equal sign. But we are also looking at another rate. We have 18z, so we have multiplication. That's going to make me think of a rate. So 18 times z needs to be greater than or equal to 550. Well, let's think of money and let's say our person is going to be saving up money for a PS5. So let's say Josh wants to buy a brand new PS5 and it's going to cost him, our total is going to be $550. So what he is doing is he's getting chunks of $18. We're going to say that's our rate. So we'll say he mows lawns, that's a good summertime chore, for $18 each. So then our question is going to be, how many lawns, that's going to be our Z right here, that's the number of lawns that he mows, how many lawns does he need to mow, but he needs to get at least, that's a greater than or equal to, the $550.